All right, college football fans, I don't know exactly where you're going to get this kind of production in regards to top five lists across college football. All the conferences, all the positions, we're focusing on the Pac-12 tonight. We've got uh, Don King of Last Word on Sports, also Jack Fullman of Pacific Takes, and Mike W.R. from Gojo Bruin, and we're looking at the least glamorous position on the field, but maybe outside a quarterback as a unit, the most important position on the field. So this is how it goes, and i got to tell you guys that uh, over the last two off-seasons, I've done top ten national lists, and this is the video that gets the least number of views, and that's probably not <laughs> a big surprise to anyone, but let's, let's give some love to the offensive linemen. They deserve it. So, Don, let's start with you. Don King, last word on sports, going to give us his top five offensive linemen in the Pac-12. Yeah, you're going to find this interesting because I, I th there are two schools that stand out because I've got a couple of different offensive line units represented twice in my top five. Uh, so that will give you some sense of who I think is uh, going to be particularly strong this season. So, number five, I've got uh, Toa Lobendon from uh, USC. Um, number four, Tyler Johnston from Oregon, one of the returning players there, uh, figures to be really solid. Number three, Joshua Garnett at Stanford, the big offensive guard on the left side. Um, and just to the left of him, Kyle Murphy at Stanford, who flips over to left tackle uh, from right tackle a year ago where he, uh, where he was a uh, second-team all-conference performer. And number one, the center, Mac Turk from USC. Um, so I think Southern Cal and Stanford figure to be really solid up front this coming season. Um, you know, Oregon is likely to uh, uh, to overperform against the uh, across the offensive line once again. Um, you know, so it, it it's not spread out that evenly in my top five list, but I think both of those schools are going to be in really good shape up front. Well, it's not like uh, that's been a first ever, especially when we're talking traditionally at USC and over the last five or six years at Stanford producing top-quality offensive linemen. All right, uh, Jack, uh, top five in the Pac-12 offensive line. Great year for a uh, top offensive lineman in the Pac-12, in my opinion. Uh, the first two guys are a little bit interesting on my list uh, because they are coming back from serious injury and missing all of 2014. Number five, Tyler Johnston is from uh, Oregon. He's your Oregon tackle. He's just uh, not a huge guy, but six uh, to make those plays down the field and open up holes. Uh, number four is a guy who I kind of went back and forth of, of, of uh, including him because he missed all of 2014, and it's still unclear. Isaac Sulo, who's the uh, center from Oregon State, if he's healthy, he could be the best center in the country, but that's a big if. Yeah. Uh, number three, got Jake Brendel. He's the uh, center for UCLA. He's kind of been in the UCLA offensive line that's had some struggles the past few years, but uh, he, he's always been that rock up there, and he's a big part of why Paul Perkins is all over the rush for so many yards. Number two, already been mentioned, uh, Kyle Murphy. He's uh, your new Stanford, uh, new, the new star of the Stanford offensive line. Just a big, mauler, uh, typical Stanford offensive lineman who's going to make it really hard for uh, defensive lines all year. Uh, number one, have to increase the uh, center who crossed the line, but he's that center for USC now. He's big, uh, he can really move, and he's going to do wonders for a USC team that should be loaded this year. All right, I want uh, Pac-12 fans to take note that if you're going to show some love, Oregon State fans in particular, it, it should go to Jack. He's, he's finding these players in Corvallis uh, that stand out in the Pac-12 uh, when, when most of the nation's ignoring Oregon State right now. Jack finding the good players in Corvallis. All right, Mike, uh, top five in the Pac-12. Let's uh, hear what you got. I'm going to throw a little curveball at number five and say Nick Kelly out of uh, Arizona State. Uh, going to be a senior center who, uh, as I say, I, I, I just I hate it, but I like it, <laughs> what Arizona State is doing out there. They're, they're innovative. Uh, you know, they're doing what a lot of the spread offense teams are, and I think uh, he's a really big part of that. Uh, number four is Tyler Johnson at uh, Oregon. Um, he was, you know, injured last year, but... Uh, 
he has a lot of experience, and I think you know he 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 knows the offense and he knows what's going to be expected of him. It, they're going to be uh, uh, experimenting with a new quarterback, but uh, the running back game, the running game should be okay, and he should be a really big part of that. Number three. Um, I'm going uh, Jake Brendel, UCLA, uh, just four, fourth-year center, has a lot of experience, although uh, this year he'll be with a new quarterback. The last three years he's been with Brett Hundley, uh, taking snaps uh, with him uh, for the last three years, as I said. <laughs> and um, number two is Kyle Murphy. Stanford just churns out offensive linemen, and you know, I you know, once again, I love slash hate this guy. He has uh, such physical ability, uh, and he's he's just you know fantastic in that really disciplined uh, offense. And number one, uh, Max Turek. That guy has just he's experienced. He's strong. He's a leader, and he's a, he's one of the big reasons that USC is, is uh, ranked so high or is getting a uh, you know a lot of preseason uh, uh, accolades. And um, aside from that, I mean, he's just he's just a big physical center, and he's going to do wonderful things for USC, unfortunately, yeah. from a Bruin perspective. <laughs> of course. Of course. Go Joe Bruins. Uh, Mike WR. So I really had no sleepers to throw at you guys because my 5 through one was Johnston, Brendel, Kelly, Murphy, and Turek. So I was right there with uh, most of you on that, especially those top two coming from Stanford and from USC. I know, um, of course, Don covering Stanford, uh, covering all of college football, but specifically a Stanford guy, uh, Mike with uh, UCLA and, and Jack's all over the place with the Pac-12. Any, any guys out there that not necessarily off the radar, even if you have to go to your recruiting classes from 2015 that you're excited uh, that, that are going to fortify maybe the offensive line, maybe not this fall, but going forward. Don, do you have anybody that uh, Stanford recruited that, uh, that you like or anybody that's waiting in the wings for later? Yeah, um, yeah. one thing. I'd, I'll, I'll give a quick shout-out to Nick Kelly. I did have him right outside the top five and flirted with that, so I agree with Mike on that one. Um, from a Stanford perspective, we're going to get a good look at Casey Tucker this year, who's going to go to right tackle to replace Kyle Murphy, who slides to the left, um, protecting Kevin Hogan's blind side. Um, Tucker is a former five-star recruit coming out. Uh, he, he has gotten some playing time, but he has not been the guy at any of the five offensive line positions. He will be this year. Um, if he steps up and, and shows the level of improvement that has kind of been typical in year two or year three in the offensive line system, uh, he could turn out to be a special player in 2015 as well. Jack, I know you've got your uh, finger on the pulse of the entire conference. Don't want to pin you down to anything in particular, but if there's an offensive lineman in this last recruiting class that uh, should be a star in years to come, or just your, your thoughts about maybe the best offensive line in the conference. I don't know about one in the recruiting. I feel like it takes a lot of time for offensive linemen to develop, so they're kind of always the guys you think about the least in each class. Uh, so there's none top of mind. But the best offensive line, I think you're going to look at, there's a lot of really good ones. Uh, if I had to pick one, I might pick uh, USC, just because it's anchored by Turk, and they got some great, really good young guards in uh, Tala Maivo and uh, Lobendon, and they also have uh, a six foot nine tackle in Zach Banner, who can really come in to be a star. And then the key is uh, Chad Wheeler, who's a uh, who really looked like he was going to be in the next great USC tackle before he got hurt last year. If he's healthy, that could be. Agree. Good stuff. We're digging deep on the offensive line. Mike, uh, parting shot here, if you so choose. Uh, don't necessarily need to throw anybody out there, but I, I – comment all the time about UCLA's recruiting classes under Jim Mora when it comes to wide receivers and especially defensive backs. Do you have anything along the offensive front? Uh, one of the things that uh, a lot of fans really wanted Jim Mora to do was recruit offensive linemen, and he's definitely done that. UCLA has, has uh, five recruiting starters. Uh, they have a, a second line that's going to be a proper backup. Uh, and uh, they just recruited five guys. Uh, they, they signed five guys on National Signing Day, so they literally just signed an entire line. In that line, a uh, couple guys that I like is um, uh, Josh Boko is number one out of Oklahoma, uh, and the, the big one, Fred Perry out of Hawaii, the number one center in, in the nation. So he's going to be very important. Uh, his development is going to be very important, especially with uh, Jake Rendell, uh, 
having this be his last season. So uh, he might be the successor to Brendel next year. Uh, but there are a couple other guys. As I said, there's a, there's a, already a second unit uh, of backups that uh, UCLA has, uh, can go to. So they have depth right, depth right now. So a lot, lot, lot of good things there. All right, Pac-12 fans, I don't know where you get this anywhere else. Top five offensive linemen in the Pac-12 going into 2015. Got five different lists, plus we have recruiting uh, analysis from 2015 going forward this fall and beyond. All right, Don King, last word on sports. Jack Fullman helping us out from Pacific Takes, and, of course, from Gojo Bruin, it's Mike W.R. Gentlemen, always appreciated. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.